as a chemist displaying large amounts of data in tabulated or graphical form can present a stern challenge. For example, even after removing as much spurious data as possible, you can still find yourself requiring the use of a large, data-rich table. And whilst it's tempting to simply shoehorn a miniaturised version onto the side of a slide, this should be avoided. Instead, choose to position your table on a slide of its own, as not only does this allow a more legible text size to be used, but it will also help you when walking the audience through the data. The same principles can of course be applied to graphs, where lazily pasting a default Excel format will often result only in the audience reaching for their collective magnifying glasses. Of course, moving your graph onto a slide of its own will help, but so too will resizing the axis text. Here, the labels are Arial, size 28, which is actually bigger than the 24-point black text at the top of the slide. Even the apparently rather small axis numbers are 22-point font in Excel. A few other tricks can also make your information more digestible, such as labelling each dataset directly, as this saves the reader eye-shuttling and shape-matching between the points and a nearby legend. And also, notice the markers, quite large at size 14, and different both in shape and colour. Indeed, you should avoid relying exclusively on colour, as many people can struggle with this. For example, the contrast between the black and the white bars here will be picked up even by somebody who is red-green colourblind. The inclusion of chemical structures also poses a text size challenge, as the structure on the left shows. Chemists instinctively know that molecules are connected by a carbon-carbon scaffold, and so more emphasis should be placed on the non-carbon atoms by increasing their size. Changing the document settings through the file menu in ChemDraw can help with this, for example by shortening carbon-carbon bonds, making more room for larger atom labels. Of course, such a complex molecule would rarely be shown, and so a more useful consideration may be this simple reaction scheme. Notice that how in addition to the clear atom labels, the molecules are also drawn in the same orientation, making the changes which are occurring more obvious. Other content, such as microscopy images, can present problems of their own, with scale bars often being too small to read. Simply dropping a text box onto the image can solve this problem easily. And as a final consideration, chemistry talks should be referenced much like a report. Just don't use too many references per slide, and make sure they're big enough to be read and written down by the audience.